What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. You know one video that I've gotten a lot of requests to do and I've kind of, I don't know if I don't want to say held off on it, but being that you know I'm a, I'm a GMC guy now, I was waiting for GMC to obviously release the rendering of the new 2020 uh, HD GMC or GMC HD trucks and obviously with GM releasing the Chevy truck uh, new design usually the GMC is to follow right behind it but I think obviously it's kind of like a, a marketing thing GM wants the Chevy truck to get all of the attention it can get right now they don't want to kind of split the attention by releasing both at the same time and that totally makes sense so I know I'm a little bit late to the party and for that I apologize I know a lot of you guys are leaving comments asking my opinion on the new trucks and Honestly, I wanted to wait obviously until we saw them lifted before we made any kind of judgments because I think we've learned from the past Don't judge a new truck style until you see it lifted But it also just so happens that today is a cold windy day. It's no fun to be outside So let's head up to work Fort world headquarters and break down the new Chevy HD trucks So it's been a while since we've actually done one of these What's truck reviews Welcome back to another video What the oh, hey, hey, dog. What are you doing dude? I'm just vlogging. What <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what? Really? What? Really? What? Like, do you want to take over? I mean, you want to take the it's channel? Two, it's, it's 2019, you know? I grew up my hair. Yeah, it looks great, dude. Put my hat backwards. Six shades? Yep, yeah, six shades. Where can you find those? In the, in, down in the description? Down in the description. You, you taking over my channel or uh, what, buddy? I mean, yeah, why not? Here you go. What are we talking about today? T you take the camera. No. Take the camera. I got, I got my... Oh, I got, you're right, you're, yeah. you're starting out I'm, on the phone? Yep, starting on the phone. All right, well, that's a good start, buddy. Yep. This is a hell of a look for you, man. Hey. Wait a minute. What? I God, mean... We're kind of wearing the same thing. That wasn't planned. <laughs> it really wasn't. You look good though, dude. Do I? All right, let's get this video to like, what, give me a like range, buddy, that we can get you to rock that for like a full day. Uh, full day? Full day. 2,000 likes. All right, if this video gets 2,000 likes, which I know you guys can pull off, we're gonna get Chris, yeah, we're gonna get Chris to rock this setup for a full day. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Let's do it. So, as you guys know, we are talking about the big Today debut. We're talking about the 2020. We can't do the same video though. Like that's that doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. No, we gotta. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll tag team this review in my video. How about that? Okay. All right. So obviously not that long ago, Chevy debuted the 2020 HD truck, aka the 2500, the 3500, and well, it wasn't really met. I don't want to say that well, or maybe we should say that well. People hated the front end on the new Chevy trucks. They had revealed like a little cropped picture of the front end at one point. And that was like the big reveal that they were doing and the, sh the front end actually looked decent from about there up and everybody was really wondering what it's gonna look like. And then it started to, yeah, it just got revealed and not too many people were stoked on it. In fact, if you're like kind of in the Instagram, I guess any real world actually, you're gonna see there's just so much criticism surrounding this truck but let's kind of break down some of the uh some of the new additions or new changes to the truck chris go ahead <laughs> one, one step at a time okay i oh, start gonna... my intro I, I'm, I'm perfecting the intro then we, we move on okay fair okay fair so before we really like just bash the crap out of the front end let's actually talk about it a little bit chevy obviously having their traditional bar going across the grill they had to integrate that somehow to me i'm all about symmetry so seeing it up higher kind of it's a little weird to me. Chris, what do you think? That's the first thing I saw when I saw this picture. You, you that, yeah. that it's all... Yeah, I don't, I don't like the... I like to be right in the middle. And then, obviously, Chevy traditionally has separate low beams and high beams on the headlights, and it looks like they're still retaining that down here, and it looks like up here is probably some type of either daytime running light, uh, something along those lines. I don't really know for sure. And then obviously you retain what looks to be pretty crappy halogen fog lights still. Hopefully those are upgraded to LEDs. Now mind you, we're looking at the Z71 version here. Uh, if this picture is true to the actual Z71, and I'm not seeing any 
front sensors in the bumper. Now they may be integrated down into this lower portion right here or in the valence that we can't see, but it's kind of one of the first things that stood out to me in this picture is there's no sensors anywhere on the front and you know the Z71 version is obviously not the stripped down work truck version. There should be some type of front sensor system. Obviously the 2020 AC trucks retain the L5P so you keep the hood scoop as is on the 2019 and older L5P trucks. So now let's start to kind of work our way back on the truck and you'll start to notice a few differences that at least I see in this picture over like the 1500 trucks which typically in GM's line of trucks the 1500 is very similar to the 2500 and they've actually started to get a little bit away from that over the years but obviously cab and body they typically keep the same but it's different here in the Chevy HD versus the 1500 trucks. Obviously being that the headlights and everything are getting so integrated into these front fenders, they're really having to change the look of the front fender from the 1500 to the 2500. So this is completely different looking than on the new 1500 trucks. Then working our way back, obviously they're retaining the same door mounted mirror, which we had talked about this for a while, which was going to be coming out. We saw it on the 1500 trucks. We knew that the tow mirrors were no longer going to be a thing in the actual little a pillar area here of the window which means you can no longer use older or previous generation chevy tow mirrors on your trucks this is kind of where where that dies is right here until somebody comes up with looks like there's a black plastic piece here i'm sure somebody's going to come up with an adapter plate but then that also means you now need to fill the holes in your door and repaint and that sucks it's a lot of work i'm sure some somebody's going to do it though and it's going to look cool but it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of money to get it done uh, the new tow mirrors, there's been a lot to say about the new tow mirrors and I can't say that I'm a, a big fan. Chris, what do you think about the new tow mirrors? They look ugly to me. Do they? Yeah. Now with like, with the 1500, are you able to put these tow mirrors on a 1500? I believe so, because everything looks like it is all door mounted, so everything should, assuming that it is the same size, which I'm guessing it's going to be, you should be able to put these onto the 1500s as well. but. To me, where they kind of missed the mark was this this little double yeah. elbow joint going on here. It should have either been straight out, straight up, or I, I don't know. To me, it just it looks like a kid's toy or something. It doesn't look like it was thought out that well. Now, working our way back, looks like we are retaining pretty much the same door handles. Obviously, the new GM trucks are going to come with push to start. They're going to come with the push button to unlock the doors and all that keyless entry. So that'll be a nice feature finally that GM has offered. It's We should have had it about three generations of the trucks ago, but what are you gonna do? Uh, working our way back here, one thing I noticed different between the 2500 and the 1500 is the, 20, or the 1500 has a much bigger kind of pie shape out of this corner right here, whereas the 2500 seems to have a smaller one. I don't know if it's just this picture, I don't know if it's just the angle, but to me it does not look the same size. It would be weird to me that they would not use the same rear door with the window set up, but I don't know. It just does not look the same in any pictures that I have seen. Now working our way back. It looks like, if you guys remember in the old days, when we have step side trucks. Like that was a big thing. And some of the real, real old school step side trucks I liked. But then you started getting into like the early 2000s Ford step side trucks and they were horrible. Like I couldn't stand the big bulgy pop out and the giant swoop in cut out right there to enable a step. It was just a, it was a horrible look to me. I could not stand it. It looks like Chevy has actually solved that problem by integrating the step, pushing it into the body, but not lit it, but not cutting the entire bedside in right there. So it's just a nice little cut out right there, similar to the ones that they use in the rear bumper. Like it actually is a very useful thing on my Silverado. I actually had the amp step amp research makes a step that comes down for your bedside. And I use that a ton to jump up in there to reach the front of the bed, especially on a lifted truck. It is really nice. Now, one thing to note being that this is the Z71, the first thing Chris said when he saw this truck was like, this grill looks horrible. There's like little squares of cheap black plastic. It's just, it's not a good look. But the good thing is Chevy offers its dressed up package as the high country and it offers a little bit different variation. So let's take a look at that. Now here on the high country, as you can see, the grill is completely changed. Instead of having the squares, you now got these bars going across, which actually makes the space in there look smaller as opposed to just that giant black grid that you would have on the Z71. I mean, I would probably end up swapping the grill out to something different. What aftermarket grill companies are going to do? I don't know. I'd they got their work cut out for them, that's for sure. But also notice that they added in a split there in the grill, which 
to me, that's like one of Chevy's signature things is having that split in the grill. The 06 Cat Eye Duramaxes are like my favorite trucks ever, and they have that split grill. Did the Z71 have? The Z71 did not yeah. have the split. This looks better, I think. It does look better with the split. It just makes the grill area, I don't know, it just it fits better than the previous version that we looked at, the Z71. But other than the addition of a couple little chrome things, the high country badging, there's not a whole lot that changes appearance-wise on the outside. But if you were to put the two trucks up against each other, the, Z, the Z71 and the High Country, I would for sure pick the High Country just based on that front end look alone. Now moving along to the rear of the truck, it looks like Chevy's incorporating basically the, a similar design to the way they did the headlights on the 1500 where they start to really cut into the fenders on the side. They kind of incorporated that into the taillights. Then they went ahead and stamped Chevy into the tailgate, uh, obviously same as the 1500. And to me, like I, I I don't know. I'm on the fence about that look. What do you think about that look, Chris? Of having the, the name stamped into the tailgate like that? Um, I kind of like it. Then it looks like Chevy has brought back the rear bumper step design, which are actually really convenient, really nice. I don't know that I really like the way it looks in this bumper per se. I love it on my truck, even though my truck obviously has sold that bumper, but I love it on the 2019 and previous uh, GM trucks. This one, I just, I don't know. There's something weird about it. Here. It looks a little bit bigger. This picture is a little bit stretched, so it's kind of skewed. It's hard to really tell. But I'm not. I'm not a too. Well, might help fan. us out. I know size 13. Uh, that is true. Uh, like, why are we twinning so much today? Uh, I think you're just trying to be like me. No. No. Let's let's show the real hair. I don't think so. I don't have to <laughs> shave mine all off pretty smooth to get close to you. <laughs> so all in all, obviously the front end is. It's a huge factor into a vehicle. I think the reason my truck, the BBB build, looks so good is because that front end just came together so well and all the details were there and they were correct. So when you screw up a front end, like everybody says Chevy did on this truck, it's hard to really look past that and look at the rest of the truck to appreciate it. But if you really, I mean, if you cut that out and you look at just the side profile of a truck, it's not a bad looking truck. Does it look like a big, bad HD truck to me? Not exactly, but once again, Seeing a truck stock, you can't really judge it until you see it lifted. So let's see it lifted. So here we've got another killer rendering from our buddies over at Innovate Design Lab. I mean, seriously guys, they are the absolute best when it comes to any kind of renderings, animated, regular. I mean, their stuff is getting so good, it is so hard to tell what's real and what's not. So if you guys are in the market and want to see what something looks like before it comes out, crazy lifted, whatever it may be, I'm telling you, hit them up. I'll put their link down in the info. But let's jump right on in. Chris, first thoughts. Um, well. <laughs> You're speechless? Yes. Go ahead, buddy. Give us your first thoughts. Give us a little breakdown. What, what do you think? Uh, well, I always think a truck looks better lifted. So, to me, it looks a lot better now. Um, the front grill, I don't know, what is this aftermarket grill looks like? Yeah, it looks like they, they kind of mocked up a, a custom grill there. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, these look a lot better when they're color matched. I just noticed that. Yeah, I feel like it, it kind of fills that void of like yeah. separation of the cheap black plastic. So here, they're showing the truck on a Striker off-road lift kit. They've done a solid axle swap on it. They're running Sword hydraulic adjustable shocks. You guys actually saw, if you watched any of my SEMA videos, we actually ran into a few trucks that are running this exact setup. If you have not seen it, you can check out that video right here. You wanna practice that? There you go. Tire-wise, it is 42s on uh, 15.5s with 28 inch wheels. Dude, how do you know that? <laughs> These renderings are freaking good, dude. It's like, Damn. that's how good the rendering is. You can read the freaking tire. Like, Innovate does not mess around. What size lift? Oh, dude, that's like a 16 inch. Uh, but yeah, obviously, as you guys know, wheel to tire ratio, not my cup of tea. This is, like this is, if you're going to SEMA and you want to be with the big boys, this is the setup everybody was running this year and I'm sure everybody's going to be running next year. Why? 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 Because it is one of the most high dollar setups out there. The hydraulic shocks offer an adjustability that Air Ride doesn't. Um, you get to retain your coilover suspension, literally all you're changing is the height of the truck, similar to any level lift, but these shocks are adaptable to any lift kit, whereas any level lift, it is proprietary to their lift setup. Both really, really cool setups. Striker off-road, I, I don't know why everybody was running this setup, other than the fact that, I mean, it, it looks it looks killer. I haven't heard anything bad about it. And like I said, this is, like, this is what all the guys with the big bucks are doing. And to me, it's 
we're gonna see a lot of these next year that's for sure and obviously for most people this is way too much i'd love to see one with like a six inch lift on it maybe we can get something like that rendered up for the channel and show you guys kind of like you know what the kit most people are going to go with obviously this is not a most people aren't going to do this this is even further than i would really want to do a truck and i'd like to go crazy for no reason i even like it with the crazy roof rack that they got going on and kind of kicking a little old school to the right. light setup instead of running a light bar they're running a bunch of light pods kind of the old school like kc lights like everybody would run but instead obviously the led variant it's it's a really cool truck and i think once we start to see these hit the road you're gonna start to see these popping up all over instagram and i can't say i hate it anymore at this point like like i said once you start to kind of doctor up the front end I would definitely run more of like a, a Flog Industries bumper. It would probably be a, a cleaner setup. I think once you start getting too many lines going, which is kind of what we're looking at here, it starts to it starts to get a little cloudy in there. So to me, I'd run a Flog Industries bumper, just clean that up a little bit, and I think you'll have one hell of a truck. And I think once we start to see these lifted, everybody's gonna change their mind pretty much like they do with every single truck that's ever been released. Go ahead, Chris, final thoughts on this truck? I can't wait to see it in person. You coming to see one with me next year, buddy? Um, Cause I have a feeling the whole place you can see that in person with that SEMA. <laughs> Maybe. Assuming they're out in time. Now, obviously what I'm waiting for, and Chris too, being that we're both GMC guys now, is we wanna see what the GMC 2020 HG truck looks like. I've actually had one of you guys email me some spy shots that you guys got that were better than some of the website spy shots I've seen of one of their camouflaged ones in a parking lot, which to me it's crazy how much these trucks get photographed and get pictured. It was in a Costco parking lot that these pictures were taken in. And to me, like, you have one job. Like, drive this truck, test it, don't let anybody see what it looks like. And it seems like more and more spy shots get released. Kind of like the guy that had the pre-released iPhone and he was doing testing for Apple, but left it in a bar and walked out. Like, you have one job. Don't let anybody see it. But anyways, I cannot wait to see what that looks like. And as soon as we get any kind of reveal or report on that, we will bring it to you guys on the channel. Now, Chris, after doing all this, I'm, I'm starting to get a little hungry. We need to go to the store. We need to get a couple things. Um, you, you feeling froggy? You, you can go out on the town like that or what? Let's roll. You heard him. All right, let's go. I'm not even waiting for 2,000 likes. Just, You're just doing it? Just Look at that. We got a new... 2019 brought a much more outspoken Chris. Uh, oh, kid. Yep, yep, you got it. Oh, your, your hair looks good, girl. Mm, got my hair did and my nails did. You know what, buddy? We never told you what happened to your truck, man. I'm sure everybody's real concerned. It's all fixed. Is it? Yeah, Ryan took it to the shop, fixed it. We're all good to go. Nah, Chris is just kidding. Actually, his truck ended up on the third key cycle. Kind of like I thought it would. It went back to normal, being that nothing was wrong. So after the third key cycle, the check engine light turned off and everything's good to go, right? Yeah, I guess you can uh, switch the settings while you're driving, so. Now we know. So we're hopping the old BBB build here. We're gonna head over. We gotta go get some barbecue sauce for some grilling later. So we're gonna see if our, our favorite barbecue store is open. Oh, what you grilling? Uh, some tri-tip, what about you? Uh, uh, tri-tip. Oh, nice. Yep. Maybe we'll you wanna, meet up? You, yeah, you wanna, wanna eat together? Sure. What? I need a haircut. <laughs> this is, I'm over it. <laughs> Dude, it's such how a do you do, I don't know how you do it. We just got here and unfortunately it looks like our, our store's closed. I hate when these freaking people block the diesel pumps. Right, bro? Preach. Dude, that's a... Get out of the way. Diesel. Uh. Just gonna, just gonna sit here or? The struggle's real. Alrighty. Let's fuel this old girl up. And I know I've seen some of you guys mention in a bunch of my videos, or at least ask, why is it that it seems like you're always filling up? And well, I'm asking the same thing. It seems like I'm always filling up. It's weird that the trucks always seem to run out of fuel at the same time. I guess I kind of flip-flop between trucks, and then when one gets real low, I'll just drive the other one, and then eventually they're both too low, and I gotta fill them both up. I don't know what you're talking about. I fill up once a month. Because you drive once a month. No, I drive every day. Okay, you drive your GMC once a month. Oh. But anyways, guys, with that, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now. Don't forget to give this video a like for our good buddy. Uh, we need a name for him. Dressed up like this. Was this Rhino 2.0? Rhino Dose? 
All right, well, if you guys can come up with a clever name for Chris's alter ego over here, we'll see if we can get him to show up in some more videos. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Quick, you done? Oh, oh my God. No. Oh my God. Put the hat back on, dude. Ow! <laughs> Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh.